DreamHack Open is brought to you by Astro, Monster Energy, Corsair, Hacks, and GG Bet. In 1914, during World War I, there was a now famous Christmas truce in the trenches between British and German soldiers. They exchanged gifts across neutral no man's land, played football together, and even decorated their shelters, sort of like we've done with the set here at the DreamHack Open in Yontropy. And in fact, if there's one thing that I do know, it's that there's one person on Christmas that will never be stuffed, and that is the turkey, if you know what I'm saying. My name is Trey Saranthus. Welcome back to another session of the DreamHack Open. And in fact, it's time for Christmas, and that's what we're here to do. One might even say it really kicks the llama's ass. And now, for further instruction, we'll be looking to my left, where I have my companions in Bled and Pimp, the esteemed analyst crew that we brought to you live here at the DreamHack Winter. Guys, welcome back. Good morning, and how are you? Ben Bitter. You know what a sad part about the Christmas cruise story is? The next day, they got back to killing each other again. Yes, that is true and just like we've gotten back to the action here we've also gotten back to making it all possible by the people that are powering all of this that you see around you and in fact we can take a look at that list because it's not a very long one instead it's a very important one and i'll tell you exactly why because it's astro it's corsair it's monster energy it's hacks gg and they're all coming together to put on this last and final dream hack open stop for you this year and boy has it been one to remember guys we've had quite the showing of teams thus far yeah, we, uh, we didn't get the results we expected throughout the tournament. I think uh, the biggest surprise, obviously, is the first semifinal of the day. Existence Galaxy making it through the playoff. So did Bravado in a, in a more comfortable way, in a more convenient way, I would say. Um, so it, it's definitely shaping up to be an interesting day of Counter-Strike once again. And I think that we have another surprise coming for us. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it has been a tournament of miracles, so to speak. Like, I think the previous time we had, uh, we had something of an upset of this nature was when Imperial won uh, Summer. But they did win the tournament. This is still the semi-finals. But yeah, bravado in existence being here, I don't think anyone would have expected it. I am personally looking forward to it. And then, of course, later on, we also have uh, another barn burner of a match. I think that's what they call it, where we have Enz mm -hmm. facing off against none other than Heroic. The only thing heroic I'm seeing right now is that sweatshirt from Jacob. But we'll get back to that in due time. Don't worry about that. In the meantime, we're going to take a look at what some of the action of yesterday entailed with a quick recap. So go ahead and join us now. silent night it was a holy night and that little glimpse of santa claus might just be the closest that you ever get to him in fact some of these teams will be going home to celebrate christmas a little bit early and that's going to be g2 complexity ldlc and optic because you're not going to see their names in the playoff racket nope not this year who are we going to see there guys 
We're going to see Barado and we're going to see Existence play out the first best of three series here. And followed up by that, we're going to see Heroic going up against Ens, which I think is going to be the most interesting match in terms of that are the two teams that should be able to pull off the best counter strike level, whereas the other guys are the surprises of the tournament. We don't know where to put them yet. We've seen some good stuff from them. We've seen them some, um, some impressive stuff, but we don't know where the consistency and how that level is actually translated into a playoff bracket. So in interesting. Is that interesting? Is, is that a stretch to say? Well, no. I tell you what, it might be a stretch, but in, indeed it is time to get down with these hacks three reasons. And I'm pretty sure that it's going to be with you, Blair. I know. Uh, Brought to you by Hacks GG, of course. Absolutely, right here. Uh, three reasons why this is going to be, a, this has been a real surprise matchup, right? Reason number one would, of course, be uh, the fact that it's from the open qualifiers. Now, people usually, when they talk about open qualifiers, don't really expect that team, you know, from the EU qualifiers or NA qualifiers to really make it or win an event. Like, we did have Imperial do it at summer, but uh, that was a while back and it was just a one-off thing. But this time around, we have Bravado in existence, the two teams who came in from the EU and the NA qualifiers, making it all the way to the summer finals while we had teams like L, uh, LDLC, we had Optic, we had, you know, quite a well, complexity, for example, all getting knocked out. So that's a massive surprise here. Reason number two why this is a surprise matchup would be the fact that uh, South African CS, this might be, at least in CSGO, the biggest uh, achievement so far uh, for the time being for South African Counter-Strike, which is great for, uh, for a kind of an unknown scene to really, you know, make their mark. Bravado did move to NA earlier this year where they had some mixed results. They did win the MDL season earlier. Um, of course, later on the next season, they struggled a little bit, uh, but they did have a pretty good uh, online showing to qualify for this event. And everyone was like, you know what, they've reached here so far. Maybe if they get one map win, it would be huge. But instead, they got two wins, two best of one wins, managed to make their way all the way to the semifinals. Very convincing performance from them. And uh, yeah, so right here, uh, right now, we have this matchup between them and reason number three would be Existence Galaxy. These guys have surprised everyone. Day one was looking very rough for them indeed. They, I think they're like, what, the fifth or sixth best Swedish team right now? I'm not too sure myself. And then you're talking about a team with Barbar, a legend in Counter-Strike, I mean, at least, at least from uh, from his his, his the, the perspective of how long he's been playing this game, uh, and then he has all these young players who are kind of unknown. So let's be honest about it, right? And then they come and they manage to make their way back from the lower brackets, winning two best of threes, and finally reaching a semifinal. So that's why the reasons why, right there, Trace, why this is a surprise matchup. I was completely ignoring what they're doing, right? I'm not going to tell it to them. It's all right. It's completely fine. Don't know what you're talking about. A little bit of some harassment there, but yeah. I've so. literally, there. What are you talking about? Literally no idea what you're talking about. You I was liars. just kind of looking at his sweatshirt. It's just mesmerizing me at this point. Uh, yes, yeah, so the map veto is upon us. It is time to decide what maps we will be watching here in this first best of three. Not only is it an elimination game, but it is also going to be determining who will be joining that third, fourth place within the entirety of this stream hack open. Again, the last one of the year, so it's important to get some solid grounding here. And for these two teams, they've already made a huge stand no matter how they look at it. So playing lights out will definitely be on the agenda. Guys, what maps are we going to play? It's going to be interesting. I think both teams, you know, we, we don't know that much about them. We haven't seen them play that much online, and you can't really count an online map pool into a land best of three map sure. pool scenario. That's it, though. I think we've seen that both teams are willing to play Nuke, and I think that's going to be one of the maps no matter what happens. I'm not sure if any of them are going to pick it, but it's definitely going to be left in there for a third map potential. I, I agree. I completely agree with you on that. Uh, just to add on to what he just said right now, right? Like, we uh, Bravado said we, we can play six maps. Mm -hmm. That's huge. We, I don't think we even know Existence is Galaxy's proper map pool. Because nah. like you said, they're very, uh, you know, they've only played online most of the time. But interesting thing is, they're, at least based off what they've done in the past, they usually don't like playing Dust2 and Cash, both the teams. So I'm expecting these two maps to get banned out earlier mm -hmm. on. And then Train is a map ban, which is a map which Existence aren't that comfortable on. So I think that's going to be banned by them. And Bravado might just go for the Mirage ban. I agree, completely agree. I think Nuke's going to be picked and I think the last two maps are going to be Overpass and Inferno and I think these two guys are going to be playing it safe because like Existence doesn't know that much about Bravado, it's the same can be said for Bravado not knowing much about Existence, right? And that's what's making this matchup so fun because I feel now for the first time in this tournament both teams feel that they actually have a chance of being the favorites coming into the matchup. We do see Dust2 and Mirage go out of the way. I guess it's sort of a suspect. I'm not sure about that Mirage one. I think that's you know just a, a straight up ban from them to make sure that they don't get to play Mirage because that's a strong map for the guys. We've seen that so far in the tournament. But as I said, you know, I think this is an interesting matchup down to the fact that both teams for the first time in this tournament can actually go in here and feel like they're the favorites. They can feel yeah. that they actually have a fair chance of winning. And that's sometimes you have to, something you have to have in mind as well. Sometimes it's easier to play when you know that you're not the favorite. You play with no pressure. Whereas for the first time in this tournament, both teams have a lot on stake right now. They know that if they win, they go to the first ever land final. And it will probably, let's be honest, it will probably be the first one in some time. You know, these teams are not teams that is going to repeat their success over and over again. They're still green yeah. and they're still new.
Absolutely. Well, new enough that Nuke will be coming out in Inferno right after. So guaranteed those two maps. And I don't know that you could say either one's going to be necessarily a landslide. Uh, I, th I think Existence at least impressed me more than Bravado did because Bravado's matchup was against G2 mm -hmm. uh, on Nuke. And yeah, it was pretty... Uh, it, it was pretty close, but Existence, I think, are a better team on Nuke here. Now, the other two maps, I think it's out in the uh, it's up in the air, right? Inferno and Overpass. Uh, we haven't seen we haven't seen Bravado play either of those two maps. We've seen them play only Dust2 and Nuke. And Dust2 has obviously been, been uh, taken up by Existence Galaxy. So it's going to be a very interesting matchup here. But the only map which I'm kind of con uh, convinced is going to go one way is going to be the fact that Existence should take Nuke, yeah, at, definitely. at least based on the results. I definitely yeah. agree, and we get to see whatever that statement is, is being tested enough. You know, the fact that we have six maps we can play, that's a bold statement that's to say, very bold to especially say. when you're Barato. So we get to see that now. If they can win this series 2-1 to one or 2-0, then I may believe. Well, you might. But I you know what we're going to do instead? We're going to hear from these teams. We actually got a chance to catch up with them yesterday, and it was Bravado and Existence Galaxy here on a quest to find out who will be the victor and the better amongst the Shockers here at the DreamHack Open. Let's hear what they had to say. We, we came in wanting to beat these teams. Um, by no means do we, do we expect to, to win this tournament convincingly. Um, right now, it's, it's, it's looking pretty good. I mean, so far we've beat two of the big names in the tournament. I mean, it's a huge confidence booster. It's, this is something we all want to do, and it's just like our dream coming true in front of us. It's really it's something amazing and fantastic. It's gonna have to be a bolstered push. JT sees the guy in mini, and Elusive's dropped the bomb, but Elusive's now continued on with all three final frags. Usually when we'd come to LAN, or we would have to play um, matches where a lot was at stake, we'd usually fall short. We would end up not playing our game, we would end up playing our opponent's game. I think that was a big factor for us this tournament is that we got to play our own game because we have a strong mental, mental state this time. We started pretty slow against the complexity. It's my first LAN experience, so it takes a while to get into it. And we started really coming back late into the game. When we, went, like, when we played against the LLC today, we have already played a game. We're, like, we're feeling it, we're hyped, we have nothing to lose, so yeah, it just went smoothly. Same as same versus complexity. At some point, Nox gonna double back, being the man on 100 health. Thinking just one HP, gets himself the headshot immediately, and Barbar <laughs> follows suit with three. I think people underestimated us. Uh, I don't think they, either us or Bravado, I don't think they would have uh, expected us to make it to semis. Uh, it was just like a learning experience. We came in like we had nothing to lose. And uh, like our small goal would be like to get out of groups, but it's like still a big one. So we're happy, but we're gonna keep on fighting. We're all hitting our shots, we all stick to the game plan, and follow a routine, then I think we have it. Existence Galaxy getting buckled in. They're going to be knocking on the doors and batting down the hatches as Barbar and Plopsky and Zinkin are going to be there to knock ever so swiftly here. And, well, I guess for what it's worth, they've already made a statement here. They've already proven that they deserve to be this far. They've beaten out some of the best and some of the biggest names in Counter-Strike could do it. And moreover, they've got quite the fan base here to support them. Yeah, I mean, the, the wins they've had has been very, very convincing, uh, I would say. The fact that they're able to beat both LDLC and Complexity, not only in a best of three series, but winning 2-0 without really being pressured to the limit, uh, tells uh, quite the story about this team and, and how good they are. I like the way Baba came out yesterday in the HLCV interview. Not only did he say that he thought that Plopsky was, was better uh, than Boland, that's that's a bold statement to make. Obviously, you can read into that. It's his teammate. He has to, to sort of like hype him up and, and guide him up in that way. But the fact that they have on this team matches pretty much all the other teams that they ever played online. That's the bold statement to make, and I think we got to see some of that yesterday, so I think they can stand behind that statement, and I think that's what we have to see today against Bravado as well. If they don't turn up individually, Bravado can easily match them as well on the individual firepower, and that's when we get the close matchup. Yeah, and uh, just to add on to what Barbara said as well, would, would be the fact that 
uh, we just saw Nock in the interview saying, this is our first LAN tournament. This is my first LAN tournament. And he is just playing out of his mind, right? This kid as well, Plopski, so young. Uh, he's been performing out of his mind. Then we have Bolt in this. Well, day one, he was kind of like very quiet. But yesterday, he was like incredibly, uh, he was playing incredibly. Barbara was fragging as well. Uh, I think the only player is, uh, you know, the fifth. Ah, it's a little in my mind right now. But he, he was... He, Zinkin. Zinkin. Zinkin wasn't really having, you know, a big game, so to speak. But he was having these key moments here and there. But uh, yeah, all things considered, I think they're going to be pretty happy with this. And, and Bled, I guess if you look at it a little bit further, I mean, I, I heard you talking a little bit in the lobby last night about this team, and you, you were into a really big detail. You had a lot to say about them. So I guess, what else did you have on your mind? Oh, nothing else. Okay, well, I'm good, man. Popski. Yep. <laughs> Something like that, right? Yeah. Nah, these guys have succeeded and uh, I guess surpassed all expectations, and it's really cool to see them have a home crowd behind them to do it. I uh, I love the idea of having family here for that. You know all about uh, exceeding expectations, right, Trace? It's what I do. Some might even say I'm an overachiever. Some Every might say every single day, isn't it? Some say that C's get degrees. But Bled, what were you really saying about these guys? And actually, we'll pause right there, Jacob. You were talking about the other side of the equation when it came down to this game. Bravado, you had a lot to say about the avocado family. Yeah, I mean, avocados is the most overrated. Is it even a fruit? I don't know what it is. It's, it's, it's definitely an overrated species of so thing to need eat. You need to relax. Yeah, <laughs> I'm relaxing and uh, Twitch can go it's crazy if they want to. Some people like that, yeah? Yeah, I don't care. It's good, anyway, man. anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's talk Counter-Strike, let's talk players, let's call, talk Bravado. I think this is a team that has surprised me the most. I think Existence Galaxy, just from the fact that we know that they're Swedes and they can play Counter-Strike, especially the Puck style, you know, that's... It, it's a surprise, but somewhat, you know, you know that the Swedes are going to play well. Whereas from the South African scene, we haven't seen anything from them, really. So the fact they can come in here and play as Counter-Strike to this level that they're doing right now, I think that is super, super impressive. The win against Uptick, that was the most impressive one to me, because that was a ball of a fight. That was going back and forth. There was some clutch rounds that was coming down, and they showed some resilience. They showed some, how to say, like complexity in the way they played as well. Uh, I, I feel they had some ideas of how to want to work around the map. Dust 2 is, is a fairly easy map to approach, but they made it look good anyway. So I think they have an idea of what they're doing, and I think that's the cool thing about this Bravado team, that it's not only just a team that is coming here and getting an, uh, an upset win, it's a team that is actually here to play Counter-Strike, and I think it's a team that is doing it pretty well right now. Yeah, um, and also just to add on what you said was the fact that this particular team, even though those are two pretty close map, so to speak. They showed that they have what it takes to really grind the map out, and that's what impressed me the most. Like, a, a complete stomp is something else, but when you're facing mm. off against the likes of, uh, of an Optic or a G2, and it's a close game, and yet you're showing the composure and experience to somehow close it out. And especially this guy, right, Sonic, he's not just been so consistent throughout, but he seems to be kind of like the, uh, the mascot of the team. He's been making it work, and while he's been performing consistently, you have players like Fady stepping up, you have players like JT stepping up, and of course Detroni as well with that AWP, he was looking phenomenal. I know it's not much to say because I only saw two maps of theirs, but like you said, they have impressed me so far. Well, so have Sonic and Knock. That's going to be our head-to-head. -head. If you look at the numbers, you might think, wow, this Knock guy's nuts. And he is. Kind of like the nuts out of an avocado. Jacob, do you know that an avocado is a berry? Did you know that? No, I didn't know, and I, I honestly, honestly don't care. Well, that's Guacamole is pretty good. That's the only good thing avocado produces. How do you say it again? Guacamole. Gu guacamole? Guacamole. Okay. Guacamole. <laughs> yeah, and it is really good. It's actually one of the big delicacies of, uh, of that cuisine. Sure. But nonetheless, we can begin to talk about Twitch votes because I need you all at home to put down your monsters, put down your candies, and actually save some candy corn for me. I'm a big fan. But in the meantime, I need you to vote exclamation point BVD in chat for bravado or exclamation point X6 for existence. And I'm actually Galaxy. super interested to see what the Twitch chats think about this one because I'm not settled on, on this one. I don't really know who I would call the favorites going into this one. You see by the odds here uh, provided by GG Bet that they actually favor existence by quite a big margin. I think that has to come down to the fact that we have seen existence play more. We have seen them win two best of three series against two very decent teams, Complexity and LDLC. The asterisk to that one is that both of those teams are currently facing a rough time. LDLC is by far not playing the best game. Complexity are by far not playing the best game. I think Stanislaw even said yesterday on Twitter that this is the worst we've ever been. So I think that's quite a statement. Obviously, it comes from him, so he has to say that. But the fact that they have been able to beat those two teams 2-0 in the convincing way they have must make up for that. Uh, I would say it's not, uh, a lot closer. I would say it's uh, it's not a 50-50. I would probably give it 60-40 to 40 in, in, in favor of existence, but it's definitely closer than the odds we're showcasing here, to my understanding. Well, they've definitely made a statement, Jacob. They have. They Big have. statement. Galaxy Quest. Ah. Or Existence Galaxy. Big difference, but you know what I mean. Guys, 
I need to know what you're thinking before we talk about Twitch chats anymore. Before we talk about what you're feeling at home, I need to know what you two are thinking about this matchup because I know this is going to be a difficult one to predict, but you got to do it, Jacob, so do it right now. Why do I have to start all the time? Trace, well, how about you start? All yeah, right. go for it. You want me to start? You want me to throw production under the bus like that? All right, sure. fine. Fine. I'm off the script. I'm off the radar right now. I'm going to tell you why the South Africans are about to put the Swedes away here on home turf because they have come here with a fire, with a passion. All the power and all the might of the almighty avocado are standing behind that of bravado, just like you should be in Twitch chat, and you could spam that avocado right about now. Next Some victim. may even say bravocado. That was okay. It wasn't your best. I've done worse. Yeah. I've done worse. Uh, I uh, definitely do not agree with you. Uh, I think the Swedes are the stronger team here. I think the Swedes have the individual firepower to go up against Bravado. Um, by no means do I think this is going to be a landslide of a game. I think that both teams are, are here to uh, to play and both teams are obviously here to win. And I think it's going to be a tense and a close match. And I could see it go both ways, to be honest. It all comes down to who is feeling it more on the day. But what I've seen so far, and we have a, a little bit of a bigger sample size from the existing Galaxy guys, considering those two best of three wins, if they can keep up that level that they showed against LDLC and complexity, we have to see another level from Bavaro, and we haven't seen that yet. They may have it, they may not, but for now, I think I'm going to go with Existence Galaxy. Yeah, I'm going to go with them as well. Uh, like I just said, this is just a bigger sample size to work with, right? Like Bravado, they did manage to beat Optic and G2. Convincing, not very convincing wins, but a win nonetheless. And the fact is, mm -hmm. we saw a lot of good things coming out from them. We saw Dratrini said that we have a very wide map pool as well. But like you said, uh, Existence, just the way they won those games yesterday, they were convincing, but they also, you know, can fall. Like, day one, they, they really didn't show up in the server, right? Yeah. So it, it could get a little bit tricky either way. It's going to be a very close game, but I will have to side with the Existence, just because we've seen more of them. And well, you haven't seen that much from Bravado, just two best of ones. But yeah, it's going to be a barn burner for Game Trace. It's going to be amazing. It will be just that. I know this one's going to be a harder one to predict. So let's take a look at what you thought at home with the Twitch votes and see how those numbers unfolded. And it would appear as though you're on my side, not the side of these guys over here, whatever it is you guys do. Uh, not real sure. But uh, nonetheless, thank you very much for your support. And Bravado, I'm sure, thanks you as well. And also, I want to thank you for hitting Control-T right now. Let's just take a quick time out of everything that you're doing. Hit Control-T. That's right. Type in dreamhack.com. Oh, wait. Slash digital pass. Head over there right now and check out Snipe. Go ahead and get the all-encompassing look into what is the DreamHack winner 2018. Because it is the one true way to get the multi-view experience. You can do it with Snipe. And in fact, it's time for me to snipe down to our commentators who are going to be sitting by, who are ready to get us into our first semi-final. It's going to be Risk and Hugo. Fellas, good morning. How goes it? I can see you're not very festive today. <laughs> yeah, we, we've moved away. We've still got the Christmas tree, though. We're rocking that, so thank you very much. And we're ready to get one of our five-a-day oh, with yeah. the 